hello guys and welcome back to my channel today i'm going to teach you guys how to mix your own henna paste these are genuine results using our own henna powder you can use any powder however just make sure it's high quality um if you buy really old powder from the asian supermarket i can't guarantee results um so we highly recommend purchasing from our website www.lishashenna.com so let's get started you're going to need regular sugar two tablespoons lemon juice 30 ml essential oil 30 ml i'll be using eucalyptus you're going to need natural henna powder make sure it's a fresh crop or the color won't be great um, you're going to need regular water warm and make sure that your bowl is not metallic and your spoon is plastic so i've measured out 30 ml of eucalyptus essential oil i'm going to put that in 30 ml of lemon juice you can use fresh lemons too guys um and my two tablespoons of sugar i'm going to list all of these details below i'm going to be using about 200 ml of water so i've started with putting a bit of water first and we're going to mix this and then we're going to add the rest of the water in and mix it well mix the henna paste until there's no more dry clumps um the paste won't be 100 percent smooth at the moment but that doesn't matter So I've gone ahead and mixed it and this is what it looks like at the moment. Like I said, it won't look smooth, but doesn't matter. We're going to cover it in cling film and we are going to leave it somewhere warm on a windowsill or an unheated oven. And we're going to leave it there until the next day for dye release. So this is the next morning. I'm going to open up my cling film and check if the dye has released yet. To check for dye release, just get a spoon and scoop some out. You will notice the top of the henna is really dark, but the inside is probably a golden color. Depending on which climate you're in, dye release can take different times. Warmer countries will dye release early, colder countries will take longer. It's really important to make sure that the dye has released before you uh, actually use the paste. So I've gone ahead here and transferred my henna into a bigger mixing bowl. I've used a cake mixer to mix it into this beautiful consistency. I've added a little bit of water um, to get it to the consistency that I like. You can go ahead and add the amount that you like. So if you like paste that's runny, add more water. If you like it thicker, keep it thick. I prefer to keep it on the thicker side. Okay, now we're going to strain the henna. You're going to need a carrot bag. You're going to need a stocking and any cup that you can fit your stocking into. These are available on our website uh, in the starter kits. So I've gone ahead and wet my stocking. Um, I feel this just makes straining a little bit easier, uh, but it's only optional. I'm going to put this stocking over my cup or bottle and we're going to carefully put our henna paste in here. This is where it gets a little bit messy. So use gloves if you prefer not to have orange hands. So I've carefully put the henna inside and now we're going to use a carrot bag and strain the henna out. It's difficult demonstrating this on camera but I will try my best. Um, so I've put the stocking in to the carrot bag and we are going to hold the neck of the stocking and the carrot bag and pull the henna out. So I'm just, I've just done this in slow motion so you guys can see this. Things are about to get messy here. So I've gone ahead and taped the top of my carrot bag. The henna is all ready to be combed up. Using the carrot bag makes life so much easier. So lastly, now I'm going to show you guys how to put the henna into your comb. So take the pin out of your comb. Now squeeze the henna into the tube. Make sure you do not overflow it. Wipe off any excess mess with tissue before you start taping. Now return the pin back in. I've gone ahead and take the top of my henna cone and now I'm going to show you how we fold it in. So we're making a sort of triangle-like shape and we are going to fold this in. Now using a piece of tape, you're going to take this down securely into place. Now I don't use this method anymore, um, but I'm trying to keep this tutorial as beginner friendly as possible. So I find this is the easiest method. And here are the final results guys. With correct aftercare, you will definitely get a dark stain. Um, just make sure that your henna powder is authentic, your essential oils are authentic. We highly recommend getting them from our website because we sift out the best powders out there. Um, 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If this worked for you, please let me know. I will leave all our website information below, plus the ingredients and everything that you need to know. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, bye.